So I'm just going to make a rough circular shape like so. I'm going to pick the polygons like so. Oops, just crossed it. Let's go back in and then just with Z as an extrude in this package. Do a couple of extrudes. Notice that the colours ended up the colour of the um, the polygons that were being extruded. So we'll change that in a moment. Just tweaking as we go. You can do something called a matrix extrude if you like, but um, which is where it extrudes along a pad. There's all sorts of specialist tools, but especially because I want to keep this as non-software specific as I can um, then uh, we'll, we won't bother with tools like we'll just keep it to extrude so select a loop all the way around increase the selection like so to call up the material editor again and we'll just change that back to that material. I've still got the loop going in. Theoretically, the loop still goes all the way up, round, over the top. But in terms of what we want, don't need that anymore. This is the core of that loop that matters. Um, I keep spotting opportunities to put more polygons in in the right place. And that was one there. So I'll quickly pop that one in. There we go. Now there's one tool in this that I do like uh, in this package which is the way I implement smooth or you can implement smooth and I've got it mapped to a mouse wheel so if I select several points and then roll the mouse wheel that's doing an average vertice for me which is the, another way of saying smooth you can see it's tightening my mesh all the time um, try not to do it over the center line because it will it'll pull, I'll just show you this package, pulls it away because it's not true geometry on the other side um, time to fix this one now really I think so what we'll do is pull oops a daisy forgot to turn soft selection off so we'll pull this one up a little bit still not off like so and we'll split that up there so we've got a quad back there and just even it out slightly left us with a triangle here this is going to be a forehead area here so I can afford to do what we did before which is turn it inwards let's come around here split from there to there there we go and you can see that's now turned that all the way down and back in on itself but it's got rid of the problem again and that leaves us now I think that just leaves us with the one uh, end on which was inside the mouth which is there and again we can quickly just get rid of that which will we'll resolve that later by uh, in fact no why wait by running that down here it's getting a little bit more detail in that mouth and chin area than I like to be honest with you run all that all the way to the back there and actually what's happened is if you remember we put a triangle underneath that we didn't want it's resolved that for us that's much too much of a stretched polygon there so we'll just select round and see where that goes goes all the way up and round can we afford to put that in there uh, yes, I think we can. And just even out the polygons. Just bring it round. Actually, I'm going to go in and use the smooth again, if you remember I was using. There's different implementations in, in every software package, but there is a smooth in every package. Uh, get familiar with it because it's really useful. And um, we'll split that chin as well. And that gives us, if we indent there now, that will give us the basis of the lower lip. And we'll curve this round to give us a nice rounded muzzle. 
Uh, take that out there. 